Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this in the hoop coin purse that is a free embroidery file from Five Star Fonts. I will put the link to the website in the description box directly underneath this YouTube video so that you can go and download the embroidery file yourself and hopefully follow along with my video. Coin, um, heart shaped coin purse. You, the instructions say that you will need two pieces of lightweight batting that measure two inches wide by four inches high, a zip that has to be at least five inches. I use continuous zip and I'm just using this piece and I've just put clips on the end so that I don't unzip it and it all falls apart. You need two pieces of fabric that form your front that need to be four inches by four inches and you fold these in half and put this batting in the middle so I've just pre-ironed mine so they're two at four by four then you need a piece that is five by five for your back and a piece of lining that's five by five and then you'll need the design obviously which is a free in the hoop embroidery design from five star fonts and i will put the link under the description on youtube and there will also be an accompanying blog post relating to this on my blog and it also says that you need to put a piece of tear away stabiliser in your hoop. Okay, so the instructions tell me that once I've put some stabiliser in my hoop and your hoop size on this particular design has to be a minimum of a four by four hoop. And it just tells me to stitch out the placement line in step one. So my machine is already threaded up and that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so step two, now it's stitched out the placement line, it tells me to lay the zip right side up across the design and you can see there's a straight stitch line on either side with a gap in the middle which is where your zip needs to go. So here's my zip and it says tape it down so I've just put some masking tape on mine. You have to make sure that the tape is clear of the edge of the design so the edge of the design is just under the foot here and just here and I've got the tape on the outside of that and it's zip closed and right side up so now I'm going to start <clears throat> Okay, so it's done that now. So it says to remove the tape because the zip has now been tacked down. It does say in the instructions that you can remove the hoop at this stage and do this, but I don't think it really needs it. So I'm just going to save those. Now my machine cuts the ends of my threads when it's sewing, but it doesn't necessarily always come, cut the jump sti stitches. And when the machine started to sew here, it started here, came along, jumped across and came back here to finish so you need to make sure that you 
cut this jump thread at this stage because if you don't you won't be able to open the zip later it now tells me to take my two front pieces and put my wadding in the middle and then lay them into position right so the two front pieces that I'd cut were meant to be four by four I'd actually cut mine at five by four but it doesn't matter if they're bigger so it tells you to fold them in half put the piece of batting in the middle and place the folded sections up against the teeth of the zip so that the piece of fabric covers the placement line that you sewn onto the tear away stabilizer so on here now I've got this is the fold and these are the open edges so I've got my fabric the right way around for my pattern I've got the fold line up against the teeth on both sections and I've taped it all down as it tells me to do and then I'm going to sew the next step Okay, so I'm just going to remove this middle section of tape, hopefully without wrecking all the stitches. And now I'm just going to carry on. it tells you now that you can remove all your tape I don't know if I can remove this oh yes I can take that piece out of the middle right now it says the next step is an important step you have to open your zip also tells you that you can remove it from the hoop and do this but I'm trying to do it to save time really by leaving it in the hoop. So it tells you to open your zip up. Just cut that thread there. I think I've got a jump thread here as well that needs cutting. So you must remember to cut your jump threads else you won't be able to open your zip, apparently. And obviously don't open your zip further than the outside edge of the heart or else your needle's going to hit it, but you need it open. I would point the, the pull in as well. So now it tells you that the next step is to place your back fabric face side down over your design. 
and place your lining fabric. I think this needs to go right side up. Yeah, on top. And mine's plain, so I don't suppose it makes that much difference. But <clears throat> so just to recap, you've put you've you've left everything as it is there with the front and the zip. You've put your piece of backing fabric right side down and your lining fabric right side up. Your zip pull is open but free from the edge of the pattern and hopefully we should be nearly finished. says in the instructions that you can leave it at that and unhoop it but there is another step so we'll carry on <clears throat> Okay, that should be it, hopefully, if I've done it right. So I'll unhoop it and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so it's out of the hoop. Now I'm going to take the clips off because they're no longer needed. The instructions now tell you to turn it over and to start to tear away the stabiliser. But it also tells you that there may be some jump stitches that you need to clip along the way. I'm going to try and get my scissors in in this section where the zip is and start to tear everything away. Don't know how well you can see this, but I'm going to plod on. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but there is actually a basting stitch here. That you need to take away and there's one on there was one on this side here where this section i pulled this section of tear away away so i'm just going to keep plodding along and try and get all these pieces out and then it tells you to cut it out close to the edge all the way round it also tells you to clip into this join here and to clip about every quarter of an inch all the way round so that when you come to turn it the right way out it it will lie flat but i'm actually going to cut mine out with pinking shears okay so here it is all cut out and now i've got to try and get inside and open that zip and turn it inside out okay so what do you think all finished all pressed zip all nicely lined inside and finished off a cute little easy project don't you think as i say i'll put the link in the description box below as to where i got the free cutting file i know a lot of you tell me that you learn by visual rather than reading instructions so as i say the design came from five star fonts the link will be underneath the YouTube video and there'll be an accompanying blog post. Tell me what you think. Are you going to try it? You're going to give it a go? 
Anyway, please like, share and subscribe. It does help if you hit the like button. It tells YouTube that you like the channel and that you like this type of video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you're kept informed of any more videos that I post. Um, subscribe to my blog as well and you'll be kept up to date with any blog posts. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.